Hi guys, today we'll talk about using deduper to remove duplicate songs that may be taking up space in your collection and also causing playback issues when you go to use a shuffle or anything like that. The first thing that you'll want to do is set iTunes to display what is called exact duplicates. This allows you to view duplicates of the same album. You simply navigate to uh, the view options within iTunes and instead of just choosing show duplicated items, you'll actually want to use a modifier key. On Mac, you'll want to hold down the option key, which will give you the option of show exact duplicates. On PC, you want to hold down control, and this will give you the same option. Now that I've done that, you'll see that I'm now viewing exact copies. I'll show you what it looks like if that option is not selected. Notice that I have 145 songs that are duplicated in this library. I'm going to choose show all items, and do the process again and just show regular duplicates and you'll see that it, that number jumps up to 221. I must note that deduper again works on removing those exact copies not just any song that may be duplicated by name or any other parameter that's you know within iTunes. So going back to exact duplicates I'm now seeing 145 and we'll just go ahead and scan our library for duplicate songs by pressing find duplicate songs. Deduper will now scan your entire collection and start locating duplicates. As duplicates are found, they'll be displayed here. This process can take a bit of time, especially depending on the size of your collection. However, most collections can be scanned relatively quickly. As you can see here, mine is moving through quite nicely. What you're now viewing is the process of TuneUp looking up unknown tracks. It is highly recommended that you first clean your collection so that you can minimize this process. Sure, you may have a few tracks that need to be looked up if they're extremely dirty or you chose not to clean those songs, but overall, by cleaning your entire collection will help to mitigate this issue of having to then wait for songs to be looked up. And as you can see, it can add up to 18 minutes of time. Okay, so once the process is complete, you notice that we now have the option to choose dedupe all. However, before we do that, I do want to point out some of the things that you will see in your screen. Um, first off, let's take a look at these duplicates and find out exactly why um, items are checked green and some items are actually marked with the X. The red X indicates the song that will be removed. The green check mark next to a song indicates that that song will be chosen as a keeper. There is a bit of logic around this that TuneUp uses. What you'll notice with this particular pair is that the first track has more complete information, whereas the second uh, does not include the track number. TuneUp will automatically choose the best option. This also includes the quality. So if there was a difference between sample rate, TuneUp will automatically choose it along with the song that has the best information. This would also be a good opportunity to mention again that if your songs are cleaned, you'll get the best result. There's one more area that we should discuss, and that's how to find duplicates at the file level. You can do this by simply clicking the folder icon next to any particular track, and from there, you'll be able to view those duplicates. It's important to note that if you have more duplicates in this folder that are not being shown within deduper, this is actually due to an iTunes library issue, which you'll want to take care of. From here, I can now choose to remove all of my duplicates in one click by choosing the dedupe all option, or I can work within individual pairs. For this purpose, I'm going to do it by pairs. Upon doing so, if you have not removed duplicates before, you'll be prompted to choose where you would like to store your duplicated files. I'm going to choose the default location where I store my iTunes collection. I'll just choose music. Once I select, deduper will begin this process. That was a bit fast, so we'll do another one and another again. And that's all it takes. From here, I'll just go ahead and choose dedupe all. help with cleaning and other tips and tricks, please check out the other videos within this series.